Well, welcome back. It is a big day here on the farm. Uh, yeah, I got a surprise. Our uh, combine showing up. So I think many of you have uh, tried to guess what we've got and have been asking questions. I think a lot of you have already guessed uh, the combine that we got. But anyways, you're gonna find out today and uh, pretty excited. It's one of the bigger equipment purchases we've made on the farm in a long time, uh, the most expensive one. Uh, and I might talk about it that in the, in the video, but hopefully I won't make this one as long as the last time. Uh, anyways, today is the grand reveal. Well, it's coming down the road, our new combine. It's just gonna be here probably in a couple minutes. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Looking forward to seeing uh, the beast in the yard here, so hold on to your hats. See, in the shed here, it fits in the shop. We got uh, our Mac Don header in here as well. It's a bit of an upgrade for us, uh, the Mac Don as well. So we wear a 30 foot uh, Draper head, uh, same model, the newer style FD-130 is what we are. We got a FD-135, so it's a 35 foot Draper. Uh, we just figured with the combine, uh, it'd be nice to have a 35 foot head on it, especially for edible beans when we're putting less material through. Uh, a little bit wider is nicer just from a crop uh, crop quality standpoint at harvest. So uh, we also had to do an upgrade on the header cart as well. Uh, we got a used uh, header cart, Horst, uh, which uh, we had before. Um, yeah, just uh, this one's got suspension and brakes on it and fits the Macdon ours that we had. We were going to use it because it was supposed to be good for a 35 foot head, but the reach wasn't long enough, uh, the pipe in the middle. 
The top bar that the header kind of sits on, the knife part, uh, like right here, if the camera cooperates, that kind of bar that that header uh, knife section is kind of sitting on. It was long enough on ours. Uh, it just kind of the chunk of metal that goes between the two axles uh, on the header cart between kind of that tire and that one way down there that you probably can't see uh, was not long enough. So it interrupted the dropping of the header onto the cart because the kind of tires here, I'm all over the place with the camera. The tires here uh, were on top of the tires on my other cart. So with this one, if it's perfect, Nothing different with this Mac Don other, from what I had before, other than it's 35 feet more. Uh, and it's got the adapter that goes on front of the Lexium. So, some of you might be wondering uh, why I went to a Kloss Combine, a Lexian. That's a good question. Uh, you know, I think for those who watch the videos and if you're uh, aware, I did try this, this same model last year in corn harvest, the fall of 2020. Uh, and demoed it. We were previously running a K7120 combine and uh, I think in my videos you you know that I really liked the combine. It was a great combine for us. But uh, we demoed that Lexian and I think the big thing for me, the selling feature was some of the options I could get uh, in a smaller size combine. So we're uh, the case combine uh, the 7120 we had and if we went to a newer model like a 7250 I think uh, is what we were looking at uh, when we were combine shopping uh, It was a class 7 and even uh, John Deere we looked at a S770 combine uh, Which is a class 7 as well the features that I really wanted in a combine uh, One was I like the idea of tracks uh, from a compaction standpoint uh, and the narrowness of the combine and actually the ability to work on it uh, was really uh, something that interests me and I liked how they worked in the corn when I used uh, this model combine last year. So it's a class six, as I said, with tracks on it, which is really cool. Uh, but the one thing we really do like is because we do a lot of, a third of our crop is in winter wheat. Uh, and I always struggled with the case combine in terms of uh, grain loss at the back of it. Uh, in winter wheat. I know there's some new stuff with the automation side of it that I could have bought when I was looking at combines back in December. But all these kind of features were uh, class 7 only. Uh, I couldn't get them in a class 6. I was used to running the flagship style which uh, had a, a kind of a uh, CVT transmission for the rotor so I could reverse the rotor and do a whole bunch of stuff It was transmission driven. It wasn't belt driven. So uh, to get that I had to be in a class 7 not a class 6 uh, to spread chaff and Drop straw which we'd like to do on our farm uh, because we sell the straw and we also use it for the sheep uh, But we like to spread the chaff kind of the stuff that gets attached to the kernels of the wheat We like to spread that uh, while dropping straw so uh, To have some of these options. I had to have a class 7 combine either case or John Deere and These were all kind of standard features or uh, available options on a smaller class 6 with the cloth so What I kind of looked at was just like there was a lot of bells and whistles that were checking boxes for me in a smaller size combine which makes more sense for our farm operation than kind of a class 7 combine because uh we just don't need, honestly, a class seven. Um, we do quite well with a class six. So just the fact that I could get a class six, check all the boxes for what I'm looking for is really why we went to the Lexian. And I guess I just really like the job it did in corn. Um, I like the idea that it's gonna be really good in wheat because uh, they're good wheat machines. I think it's gonna be good in our canola that we have uh, to combine. And uh, I've seen some studies and reports that they're uh, quite good in soybeans too. So uh, I know some people I really respect uh, that run these combines and like them. And uh, I guess that was also one of the selling features that uh, made me really want to look at one of these Lexian combines. And 
why we went to that as an option. So uh, yeah, kind of really excited to get this into the winter canola here in the next uh, probably three weeks and then into weed harvest. I, I honestly think it's gonna be a great combine. I'm really looking forward to running it and uh, quite excited. I wanna thank uh, Jeremy Noble from HJV for making it happen uh, and uh, the support along the way so far and I know future support and getting it set up and ready to go in the crops. So uh, it was a great uh, experience from that, from a, uh, a buying standpoint. So uh, thanks to Jeremy and uh, I will say this is the most money I've ever spent on a piece of equipment on the farm. This is 24 years of saving money <laughs> uh, to buy this. And uh, you know, it's a huge decision for us. And uh, it, it took a lot of courage on our part, both myself and Sandy, to kind of decide that we wanted to do something like this uh, on the combine. It's got 150 hours on it. It actually came from a farm down in the US. Uh, they used it for winter weed harvest, I think in Colorado. There's a video I might link. Uh, Mike, Mike Less, I think, uh, that does a lot of videos. Uh, he actually videoed, it came from a farm that had 12 of these. And this is one of the 12 in the video, I'll put a link to uh, where you can see 12 of these machines running in a wheat field. Um, but yeah, it was a big purchase. It was a big decision. Uh, when we look at doing combine trades, it really comes down to cost of ownership, uh, kind of annually is what we look at. So when we look at repair and maintenance and depreciation and value and different things on equipment, those are things we all kind of add up to look at. Well, okay, are we better off going to something newer to make the repair bill a little bit less? Uh, that kind of thing. So I looked at our old combine and just kind of felt we were at that point we needed to do something or we were gonna keep it for a lot longer and it being a 10 year old combine at the time, I just felt it was time to, to upgrade. So we upgraded quite a bit. Uh, this combine is gonna be on the farm for a while. That was kind of the idea behind why we bought it and uh, super excited to try it. So uh, that's the grand reveal. Uh, a 7400 Kloss Lexian combine is what we have. And I'll do another video with a walk around and maybe doing some stuff that we got to install on it, uh, like my Ag Leader Yield Monitor. But uh, yeah, so those who didn't guess already, this is what we got. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in a little bit.